Howdy, Jarek here from Paint Tech, and today I'm gonna to be showing you one of the weirdest problems that's ever plagued me on Windows 10. And I'm gonna be honest, this thing has given me a lot of woes over the years. There is just one very, very strange thing that keeps happening. So whenever we start to boot into Windows 10, this happens. And for like zero reason at all. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix this freezing Windows issue and kind of recount my weird journey on the way to discovering how. All right, so as you can see, got the two computers from last video. If you are struggling with this issue, this is gonna be kind of a characterized Tutorial. I mean, I guess I, I found no other fix online really, so I guess this is your best bet. So I'm not entirely sure what exactly causes the problem, but I know it's relating to the graphics card, and I think it's due to overheating. For this, I'm gonna take out the graphics cards, actually each of these computers, and kind of show you how they can differ, and uh, what exactly you can do to fix this yourself, or just, you know, reapply thermal place to your GPU, because you probably should at some point. That needs to happen every few years, because I don't know, I guess it works. That's such a nice noise every time. Okay, now this GPU is kind of going to be annoying to remove because of all the cables. But first, of course, got to disconnect power cable. There we go. Oh, a little crusty. It's fine. It's all these wires, man. Look at that. That is a classic graphics card right there. That's beautiful. Slide out. Oh, like butter. Oh, that's so dusty. Very cool. All right, now we got both of the GPUs extracted. Let's get to disassembling these bad boys. So if disassembling a GPU sounds scary to you, don't worry, it, we're just taking off the cooler. And then we're going to apply some thermal paste, have it right here with me, to the GPU, although we're not, because I just did it. So you're gonna unscrew on the back, but actually first you have to disconnect the fan. There we go. So we're gonna flip the GPU over, and we've just got a couple of screws right here, which we'll get done screwing. Okay, remember, always cross-tighten, always cross-untighten. Gonna flip it back around. And the thermal paste is especially now gonna be pretty sticky because it's maybe a few weeks old at most. I don't even think it's that, that long that applied. So we're just gonna pull straight up. All right, so as you can see there, a very fresh and clean coat of thermal paste on the CPU, or GPU, my bad, and the bottom of the heat sink here. So yeah. In this scenario, you would just apply, shoot for about a gram, I believe is the recommended amount. This is a 3.5 gram vial though. I think I've probably got only about a gram or so left in it. Weirdly enough, I remember this being somewhat difficult to reattach, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, I don't wanna keep an eye. Doesn't matter if you don't set it directly on the mark the first time. Remember to cross tighten. All right, they're down pretty good. I'm actually, this is one of the few fans I've touched. It's just, I had to, I actually cut my finger on it. <laughs> pretty good, it was funny though. All right, now for the older GPU, um, I'm actually gonna show you guys the thermal paste reapplication process for this one because this one probably needs it because it probably hasn't had new thermal paste in about 24 years. Camera's not wanting to focus very well with me, but you got two little pins on the side. I'm gonna pinch it, push it through, and then they're up. Oh, it just comes right off. Oh man, look at that bad boy. That's, 
That's NVIDIA GeForce. My man. That's ancient. I'm not exactly sure what year it is. Normally you'd kind of want to clean up this GPU a little bit before you apply new thermal paste, but it really doesn't matter in our case. This, this card isn't really going to be used and it's not really practical for any modern day uses. So you're going to take your thermal paste syringe. You're going to apply just a little bit to the center. Mm, that's probably a good amount. I would say not too much more than that but don't go too little either. I mean, obviously, you know, oh, just find the right space is easier said than done, but you will kind of get a feel for it. And you're just gonna push the pins back through. And there's one, there's two. Oh, that one's not all the way in. That one's all the way in. That was actually a very pleasant experience. You may note that I normally hate like pins. I, I'm much more of a screw person, but those were pretty well designed push pins. So yeah, um, that's how to do really easy graphics card maintenance and will probably help you with any video card related things on your computer. Really saved my life for this one issue. It was very frustrating, I had no idea it was happening, but it's very cool now. Um, would, have, would have helped to have known the problem, but after some digging through forms, eventually you'll figure it out. It's just normally Windows support is not actually that helpful. Lastly, coming from somebody who forgets, always remember to reconnect the power cable to your GPU when you're done. Very cool. I uh, really appreciate you watching this. If this was the only video you could find with a solution to that problem, sorry you had to watch this dopey video. Uh, thank you for all the support recently, and uh, it's, been, it's been pretty cool. Uh, thank you. Very cool.